You know, it's, it's absolutely amazing what people will call gods. It's incredible what people will call gods. The Bible speaks of the accursed thing. The thing that is cursed by God. The thing that brings God's wrath and God's judgment on the camp. Carved images. Molten images. Melted images. Statues that we bow down to. And for thousands of years, heathens and, and pagans and uh, barbarians have bowed to statues. To, to engraven images, to mold images, to carved images. Idolatry has dominated the history of man. Idolatry is at the center of religion, the works of man's hands. The works of man's hands. People will call anything a god. They will literally call anything a god. But we know that these things are not really gods. We know, according to the scripture, there is one God. God the Father. Jehovah. Adonai. Yahweh. Elohim. The God of Israel. The God of the Bible. The God of of the Hebrew language, the God of the Jewish people, the, the God of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But people will call anything a God. Paul, writing to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4, he spoke of another Jesus, another spirit, and another gospel. People will call, they'll call this bird. They'll call this bird. They'll call this bird a god. People all over the world for all the thousands of years since man was formed will, will bow down and worship the statue of a dog or the statue of a bird or some kind of beast or the statue of a cow. There are people living right now that literally personify the phrase holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. They believe that cow is holy. They believe that cow is sacred. They believe that cow is somehow the, the reincarnation of their ancestor. They literally believe that you and I, you and I are gods. They believe that human beings are gods. And they worship humans. Some people worship animals. Some, some religions, their god is actually a fallen angel that is impersonating and doing a great impression of a god, claiming to be god, and they call it god. But how many of you know you can call this bird god? You can call this bird god. You can call me god. You can call the pope god. You can call a fallen angel, a demon, a devil, an evil spirit, a familiar spirit, a religious spirit. An angel. You can bow before it. You can fall down on your face before it. You can worship it, praise it, honor it, venerate it. You can call the Virgin Mary a goddess and pray to her and pray through her. But you calling it a god does not make it a god. I said you calling it a god doesn't make it a god. Hallelujah. But that's what world religion does. It deifies man. Humanism. Hinduism. Buddhism. Through reincarnation. Through nirvana. Through, through mantras. Through meditation. It deifies man. Man is not a god. Satan said in the Garden of Eden, you shall be as gods, knowing good or evil. But that was a lie because the devil is a liar and he's lied from the beginning heading to eternal fire. The devil is a liar. Man is not God. You shall not be gods. But that's one of Satan's greatest lies. You know, if you study mythology, how many of you studied mythology? Amen. 
Roman mythology, Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology. Man, they had snake gods. I'm not making this up. They had snake gods. They had bird gods. They had fish gods. They had moon gods. They had planet gods. They had sun gods. I traveled in Hawaii and they worshiped Pele, the goddess of the sun, the sun god. I'm not making this up. They worshiped Pele, the goddess of the sun. I've been there. I've seen them. But you can call Pele God. You can call, you can call, uh, 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 you can call Jupiter, Mars, Venus, Bacchus, Apollo, Athena, Eros. You can call those statues and those idols, images, icons, and likenesses, you can call them God till you're blue in the face. But that don't make it God. Excuse my bad grammar. That doesn't make this bird God. There is no such thing as a moon God. There is no such thing as Baal. Though billions who worship Baal down through the years, Chemosh, Ashtoreth, Moloch, hundreds of millions have worshipped these pagan deities, these heathen deities, idols, images, icons, and likenesses, but they are dumb idols. They, they're dumb idols. And today... We have a new generation of idols, images, and icons that have replaced those dumb, deaf idols of yesteryear and of antiquity. We have a new Gnosticism, a new Gnosticism, a new paganism, a new, a new, a new Catholicism today. We have a new pantheon of gods. We have a new cathedral of images. You know what it is? Electronic idols. Electronic images. Electronic icons. They do speak. They do hear. They do think. And instead of the dumb idols of yesteryear, now we have smart idols. Now we have smart devices. Now we have smartphones. Now we have smart gods. These demon devices, these devil devices, they call them intelligent, information, iPhones, but it's an idol phone. It's an idol phone because it goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden when, when, when they took a bite out of that apple. You see that? When they took a B-Y-T-E out of that apple, it goes all the way back. But these new electronic images, AI, listen to me, alg algorithms, anime, animation, these new video idols, they are just as deadly. They are just as damnable and they will bring you just as much doom and gloom. As the idols you read about in the Word of God. So, ladies and gentlemen, today Jesus said in John 4, there is a time when the true worshipers, the true worshipers shall worship God in spirit and in truth. We have a lot of people today in Pentecostal, charismatic circles, full gospel circles, in our mega churches who have emotion. They're demonstrative in their worship, and they think they've got the Holy Spirit. They worship God in spirit, but we have to do more than just worship God in spirit. We have to worship God in truth. We have to worship God in truth. We have to worship God in truth. And the only way that you can worship God in truth is if you worship God according to His Word. 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 To his word the Holy Bible that I'm holding in my right hand. You cannot... Veer or detour to the left or to the right from the Word of God. And the Word of God is what I preach. And I ask you to follow me as I follow Christ. Because I'm not going to lead you one step outside the Word of God. And that is my promise. 
So people ask me, frequently ask questions all the time. Brother Mike, why do you talk so much about idols, images, icons, and likenesses? Because it's the difference between heaven and hell. 1 John chapter 5, verse 21, the Bible said, Little children, keep yourself from idols. 1 Corinthians 10, 14, Paul said, Flee from idolatry. In Galatians 5, it says the idolater shall not inherit the kingdom of God. It says the same thing in 1 Corinthians 5 and 6. Over and over again, the book of the Revelation says the judgment of God, the wrath of God falls on man. Why? Because he will not repent of his idols, the works of man's hands. The works of man's hands. You see, you boast about what you create. TikTok says that I am, quote, a Christian content creator, unquote. No, I'm not. I'm not the creator of anything. There is one creator, not a million, not a billion. There is one who can create from nothing, and his name is Almighty God. His name is not Mike Dial. I am the creator of nothing. People boast today of the works of their hands. People boast of the works of their hands. But the works of our hands are idolatry because we trust in it. It makes us rich, famous, powerful, a successful, a personality, a somebody. It brings us a better life. And people boast today. They say, oh, I'm a graphic artist. People boast today and brag in their arrogance, ego, and vanity. They say, oh, I am a web designer. Ladies and gentlemen, there is one designer. And he sits in heaven on his throne. And he's not you. Hallelujah. There is one artist and one painter that painted the canvas of the world. And his name is Jehovah God. It's not Bill Gates. It's not Mark Zuckerberg or Mike Dell or Tim Cook or Steve Jobs or Paul Allen, wherever they are. People boast today, oh, I'm in data entry and data mining. You better forget about all that. And you better worry about having entry into the kingdom of heaven. You better mind the word of God. You better forget about being a graphic artist. And you ought to find the gospel of the glory, of the goodness and the greatness of Almighty God. You better forget about being a web designer using Microsoft Word. And you better find the word of Almighty God and fall and worship at the feet of the designer of heaven and earth. You better forget about your startup and find the Savior. So stay with me. And we're going to teach you in our upcoming series. We're going to teach you more about this. Stay tuned. We're going to begin the threshing floor of Aruna the Jebusite. The threshing floor of Aruna the Jebusite. God began to give me this message way back in 2001. Right at the time of 9-11. And I sat on it, and sat on it, and studied it, and studied it, and I finally know what the Lord was talking about, and so I'm going to share it. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. My name is Evangelist Mike Dial. Follow me on Twitter, Evangelist M. Dial. Follow me on TikTok, Evangelist Mike Dial, one word. Hit that plus button. Hit that plus button. Hit that plus button. Hit that plus button, hit that plus button, and follow Evangelist Mike Dial. And follow my uncle Daryl Dial and Daryl Dial Zero while you're at it. Because you need to be taught, you need to be instructed. And every one of my videos, hit the like button because you like it. Well, I don't like it, Brother Mike. Well, you need to learn to like it. Hallelujah, because what I'm preaching will get you into heaven and you'll miss hell. You better learn to like it. Uh, my, my brother Mike Dial, it's an acquired taste. It's a learned taste. But you better learn it and you better inquire it. Hallelujah. And when you watch my videos, hit the share button and send it to the world. Send it to your friends, your followers, your fans, your family. Why? Because they need the gospel. Don't be selfish. Don't just be a hearer of the word. Be a doer of the word. Be a giver and let them see it. And when you watch and view my videos, don't just watch one minute of it or 30 seconds of it. 
Watch it all the way through to the end. You know why? That helps me win favor with that TikTok algorithm. Glory to God. And the more people view, the more people watch, the more people I'm going to get saved. I love you. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. I'll be right back with the threshing floor of Aruna the Jebusite. God bless you. Amen.